Hi, and welcome back. Today's lecture will focus on the visual merchandising strategy. The in-store experience is part of the customer journey and visual merchandising is the creative and organizational activity used to interpret and visual for the store's product offer and creates important relations with the store's visitors. Visual merchandising coordinates the different languages of communication and relation tools occurring in the store and today is connected to new technology. New technologies change the customer experience by making the shopping experience more convenient and absolutely necessary to improve shopper experience, retain customers and increase profits. Visual merchandising is part of the communication process between brand and customers. It is the creative but also organizational interior design, it is a place where environmental stimuli assume motivational value in relation to their ability to induce specific responses and perception is framed as an active process which exceeds to the simple information captured by the retina. Through the store, the brands pursue several objectives, among which, first, being recognizable among other brands through shop window design, display installations, assortment selection, customer services, the customer experience has to emphasize the identity of the enterprise. Second, facilitating the fruition and the understanding of the entire offer system. The organization of the path and of the displays must guarantee this premises. The products on display, as well as their meaning, function and characteristics must be easily graspable by the visitor and this requires acting on the displays but also for example integrating this with the new digital technologies which allow the necessary extensions. Third, stimulating and facilitating purchases. In this case it is significant to create a storytelling able to connect to a view broader than the aesthetic, formal and functional one, i.e. strongly cultural and experiential and in line with the values of the brand. Fourth, rationalizing, optimizing and maximizing the efficiency of the store. As the space of a store is a limited resources, valuable and expensive in person, an aesthetic and experiential objective, a functional and rational organization is also necessary in order to simultaneously increase its productivity. Visa merchandising integrates digital technologies and creates a new customer experiences by making the shopping experience more convenient. The new shopping experience connects both the benefit of e-commerce and in-person physical store shopping. Its techniques are applied to two main areas. On one side, store exterior, that includes storefront, store entrance and window display. On the other side, store interior, that includes store layout, merchandising planning and display design. Starting from store exterior, we have the storefront tasks, aesthetic value, customer visibility, store security and efficiency. 
About the story exterior, we have the entrance, where it's important to create a change of atmosphere using scent, lighting, music, comfortable temperature. Always uh, on the outside, we have the shop window display. The shop window display should attract attention, create interest and invite people into the store to purchase goods. A good composition of shop window display should promote a certain aesthetic attraction so as to attract the observer. Distribution of products in the display space following criteria of visual composition in order to guide the gaze towards the points of interest and all the same time keep the attention alive. Coordination of the overall vision and visual link between a shop window and another in the case of multiple shop window. As far as the in-store design is concerned, visual merchandising takes place through some strongly interrelated operations. Store layout, merchandising planning and display design. The organization of the parts that displays and the technology's integration must guarantee the fruition and understanding of the entire store offering. Through the layout, the store is divided into homogeneous areas defined by specific characteristics related to the arrangement of the product assortment, held the poor square meter, brand policies, the confirmation of the available space, consumers' perceptive modes and possible areas to be dedicated to customer services. The new technology allows integrating store layout, merchandising planning and display design, improving the shopper experience. All the same time, it allows the collection of important data for the retailer. Among the most important applications for the brick and mortar store, we find in store cameras and sensors for tracking the customer journey, customer profiling and segmentation without registration, product interaction at the shelves, scan and go technologies, eye beacons digital displays and dynamic messages connected to store hub, social media, Internet of Things, virtual reality for optimizing customer experience and sales, augmented reality to amplify the experience, contents and information, artificial intelligence. Even through display form are now subject of experimental and differentiated contaminations, thanks to the new digital transformation contamination, the equipment layout usually refers to four main types of layout. First, straight floor plan involves positioning shelves or racks in straight lines to create an organized flow of traffic. It is economical and excellent for almost any type of retail store. Second, angular floor plan consists of curves and angles which give off a sophisticated vibe. This layout reduces the amount display area, but the soft angles create 
better traffic flow through the store. Geometric floor plans gives a unique look to the store. The racks and fixtures create an interesting and out of the ordinary type of store design without a high cost. Fourth, free flow boutique layout combines straight, diagonal and angular floor plans to create the most functional store design and enables a smooth traffic flow from aisle to walls. It is arguably the most complex layout because there is no defined pattern, but it is important to know human preferences and the behavior deeply. The merchandise layout develops through specific retail planograms, where the desirability of the product is strongly related to the organizational and narrative of the exposition. Products take on the new meaning through specific combination and show the context in which the values of the brand take on the meaning of the reality in which everyone can live a subjective experience. From the main operational perspective, merchandising layout develops mainly through three specific interventions. The design of the display point, the focal point and the central display areas. The display point coincides with the first communication that the customer receives upon entering the store. The focal point is usually found in a clearly visible part of the parametral walls of the space. More than can be found in larger sales areas, while it often finds a place on the wall opposite the entrance in smaller sites ones. Finally, the central display areas coincide with such areas where there are greater display. The succession of different display points induce visitors to go from one point to another on the retail space. Regarding merchandising planning, the layout includes the mix of certain types of products including first, traffic builder, which generates traffic, attracts customers and increases purchases. Second, margin contributor, which generates high margins and or significant turnover. Third, cash generator, that accelerates cash flow, high turnover, and frequency of purchase. And finally, image creator, which creates an image. In addition to this knowledge, it is important that a visual merchandiser knows in deep the context of visual communication, starting from the grammar of visioner up to the management of the use of color and still has the ability to build mood boards favoring the processes of design thinking. To conclude, in this lecture, we have understood that whereas a store is the narrative contest of the brand and the visual merchandising represent its linguistic structure.